time. Come on and join me for story time. Yay! Well, hello. I am Josie Bailey, and I am so elated to be your storyteller for today. I am so happy that you could fit me into your busy schedule and sit down and enjoy this story. This is a folk tale, Bruh Rabbit and Bruh Fox. Bruh Fox goes hunting. Now, long, long time ago, all the animals lived in the forest. They did everything just like us. They lived in houses just like us. They wore clothes just like us. They cooked their food just like us. They even fussed and fought just like us. Now, of all the animals in the forest, there was Bruh Rabbit, Bruh Fox, Bruh Coon, Sister Elephant, Sister Cow, Sister Rhinoceros, all the animals lived in the forest. But there were two animals always playing tricks on each other. Bruh Rabbit and Bruh Fox. Every morning when Bruh Rabbit woke up, the first thing on his mind was how he could trick Bruh Fox out of some of his good food. Every night when Bruh Fox went to bed, the last thing on his mind was how he could have Bruh Rabbit over for dinner. He didn't exactly want Bruh Rabbit to come over and sit down with him at the table and have dinner. He wanted to have Bruh Rabbit on the table so he could eat him up for dinner. <laughs> so Bruh Fox came up with this brilliant plan. He decided that he would go on a hunting trip. And his plan was to invite Bruh Rabbit to go hunting with him. While they were hunting, the plan was to accidentally shoot Bruh Rabbit so he could eat him up for dinner. <laughs> so Bruh Fox grabs his hunting bag, his shotgun, goes down the road to Bruh Rabbit's house, and as he gets there, Bruh Rabbit is sitting on the front porch swinging back and forth and back and forth in his hammock. And Bruh Fox comes up and he says, Good morning, Bruh Rabbit. How you doing this morning? And Bruh Rabbit says, I'm doing fine, Bruh Fox. How you doing today? And Bruh Fox says, well, I'm going on a hunting trip. <laughs> Would you like to go with me? <laughs> now, Bruh Rabbit knew that going hunting with Bruh Fox was not good for his health. So, Bruh Rabbit says, nah, I don't feel much like hunting today. I think I'll just sit on the front porch and watch my toenails grow. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Bruh Rabbit laughed at his own joke. But at any rate, Bruh Fox didn't let that stop him. He decided to go hunting anyway. So he got his hunting bag, he went down the road, he hunted all morning long. He shot some ducks and some geese, he pulled up some carrots and some celery, some tomatoes. Oh, he stuffed his goodie bag with all that good food. And then he decides that he would go home. But now in the meantime, let me tell you about Bruh Rabbit. Bruh Rabbit starts to get hungry. So Bruh Rabbit came up with a plan of his own. He decided that he would go and see how Bruh Fox's hunting trip was going. So Bruh Rabbit goes down the road and he sees Bruh Fox coming down the road with that big bag of goodies on his shoulder. And Bruh Rabbit says, now if I were to just ask Bruh Fox for some of his good food, do you think he'll let me have it? <laughs> well, what do you think? Do you think he'll let him have it? Well, Bruh Fox, 
Bruh Rabbit knew that Bruh Fox was not about to get up off of any of his food. So Bruh Rabbit came up with a plan. Bruh Rabbit goes down the road. He lays down and pretends he's dead. Does he look like he's dead to you? He's dead. Take it from me. He's just plumb dead. And so he, Bruh Fox is coming down the road thinking about his girlfriend singing a good song because he's thinking, I'm going to have my girlfriend over for dinner tonight. Oop, 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 oop. I'm going to prepare a great meal. Ooh. And he was imagining that smile on his girlfriend's face because when Bruh Rabbit, Bruh Fox, now he had the most beautiful girl in the whole forest. She was Miss Forest America. And she won every beauty contest that she ever entered because she was super, super gorgeous. She had this one tooth that sat right there in the middle of her head. <laughs> and when she smiled, oh, it was a golden yellow because she never brushed it off. Oh, she was gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. But at any rate, back to my story. Bruh Fox was thinking about his girlfriend. So Bruh Fox says, ah, I think I'll sing a song for my beautiful girlfriend. So he's coming down the road with all that good food in his bag and he's singing to the top of his voice because he's so happy. He's singing. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. If you've ever been in love, you probably know what he feels like. So, but anyway, he's going down the road. Now, Bruh Rabbit goes down the road, and he's lying there pretending he's dead. And Bruh Fox is coming down singing, and he stops, and he sees Bruh Rabbit laying there, just as dead as can be. And Bruh Fox says, Golly, that lays a dead rabbit. Hmm, he's a plump one too. I love myself some rabbit. But no, I got all this good food in my bag. So I'm not going to be bothered with any rabbit today. So Bruh Fox steps over the dead Bruh Rabbit and goes on down the road. Well, do you think Bruh Rabbit gave up? No, he didn't. Bruh Rabbit jumps up from the dead again, goes down the road a little further, and pretends he's dead one more time. Ooh. Change direction. He's laying there deader than a doornail. Bruh Fox is coming down the road, thinking about his girlfriend. He can smell the aroma of that good food. He can see the smile on his girlfriend's face. He's hoping she'll wear his favorite cologne. His favorite cologne was Skunk All! <laughs> oh, boy, was he excited. And he's going down the road and he's saying, I think I'll sing another song. Maybe I'll rap like the young folks do this time. <laughs> so he's coming down the road and he decides to do a little rap. And he goes, Bonk to bonk, bonk, bonk to bonk, bonk to bonk, bonk, bonk to bonk. And he stops and he looks and he says, Golly, that lays another dead rabbit. Huh, let's see now that's one, two, two dead rabbits. Nah. I got all this good food in my bag. I'm not going to be bothered with any rabbit today. So Bruh Fox steps over the dead Bruh Rabbit again and goes on down the road. Well, now, if you know Bruh Rabbit, do you think he gave up again this time? No, Bruh Rabbit rose up from the dead, goes down the road a little further, and pretends he's dead one more time. This time, Bruh Fox 
Brer Rabbit lays down and pretends he's dead. He kind of changed his position so Brer Fox wouldn't know he was the same rabbit. <laughs> How brilliant is that? So Brer Fox is coming down the road. Man, he can see the smile on his girlfriend's face. He can smell the aroma of that cologne and that food. He knows she's a happy, happy camper. He's so excited. He says, ooh, I think I'll sing a church song this time. <laughs> so he's coming down the road and he's singing. So when you're sweet, cherry, yard. he stops, he looks, he says, golly, there lays another dead rabbit. He just the plump as the other one was. Well, that's all right. This must be my lucky day. So, Bro Fox puts down his goodie bag, goes back and gets the other two dead rabbits. Now, while he's gone, Bro Rabbit rises up from the dead, grabs that goodie bag, and goes on home. Well, the next day, Bro Fox goes down by Brer Rabbit's house and Brer Rabbit is sitting on the front porch swinging back and forth and back and forth in his hammock and Brer Fox comes down the road and he sees Bro, he's dragging, he's looking so dejected and oh Brer Rabbit says good morning Brer Fox how you doing this morning? And Brer Fox said, I ain't doing so well this morning, Brer Rabbit. And Brer Rabbit says, well, how did your hunting trip go yesterday? And Brer Fox says, Brer Rabbit, all I got out of that hunting trip was a big dose of common sense. And Brer Rabbit says, well, if I had known that common sense is what you was hunting for, I would have let you have some of mine.